Aloha, my name is Cliff. I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload your data to the GNPS Massive database. Um, and this Massive database can then be viewed, shared, and interpreted across the entire GNPS community. So the first thing that you want to do to upload your data to Massive is to first identify what are the files that you want to upload. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file on my desktop. You don't have to do this if you already have your files organized, but I'm going to call this Coral Samples. because That's what I'm going to upload onto the GNPS Massive server. So what I'm going to upload is these files and these are coral samples acquired from Curacao. So now that I have my files that I want to upload onto the GNPS massive server I can go to the web interface. So instead of going to gnps.ucsd.edu to upload to massive you want to log into massive ucsd.edu and you're gonna if you don't have an account you're gonna want to register and fill out the appropriate information um, I registered and this should be the same as your GNPS password so now that we're logged on to massive we're gonna want to submit the data through this submission workflow so I'm going to call this sample GNPS, which is very important to make sure that you include GNPS in the beginning of whatever title you give it. I'm going to have GNPS Coral Turf Algae Curacao. And this is why I don't have it. it. This doesn't matter what you have as your title as long as you use GNPS the beginning of the title. Um, then what you want to do is you want to, if you have certain licensing files, database methods, spectral libraries, or results, you can input them here. But the thing, at bare minimum, what you have to have is your spectrum files. And this is the interface which you upload your files that have your uh, mass spec data. And what you can do is, whatever the files you want to upload, you're going to want to introduce them into these this Spectrum files. Um, there is an upload folder that you can drop files into this space, create a file here, such as Coral Samples as we call it, and then you can drag in your data into here. But if you have a lot of data files, this is discouraged and it's highly recommended that you upload your data. Instead of this upload files, you want to upload a data through an FTP program such as FileZilla. So, so what you want to do is instead of using this upload interface with a lot of files, you're going to want to download FileZilla or any other FTP program open up your FTP and you're going to want to connect to Massive by typing in massive.ucsd.edu with your appropriate username and password and then connect and once you're connected you can now this is your Massive server with your file name and you can take your file and drag it into the server and you should be able to then see after it, it may take a few minutes depending on how big your files are or how many files you have then you can go and look and you should be able to see this file whatever you uploaded into FileZilla connected through the massive server into your massive select input file folder so again this is what you should have here whatever you upload so now that these files are in you don't want to you can either select what files you want, or you can select, select the whole server, I mean the whole folder, and you want to import it through Spectrum Files by clicking on this button.
So these, this data set will be introduced to Spectra Files. You finish your selection and close this window. And now it should say in your massive upload, zero files and one folder, which includes all of this data into your submission form. Um, then again, if you have the appropriate other files here, you're going to want to introduce that. Um, if you have a species, so my files actually come from a community, not just one species. So what I'm going to say is my species come from Montastria. And I'm going to say this is the boulder star coral and turf algae community. And then I'm going to add. So now I have my custom um, species. It's this data set file. This data was acquired on uh, Maxis. So the instrument that you use, you're going to want to upload it into here. And any kind of modifications you want to have, you can upload that. If you have a defined chemical space, um, you're going to want to include your principal investigator. In my case, it's Torstein. And you can have a password here if you want to introduce this or if you want to um, protect this data um, until further use or submission or whatever. So this is, this is the bare minimum you need to upload um, files to Massive, your data, and then you're going to want to submit. And then as you submit, you should be able, it should take uh, some time depending on how large your data set is. And you can go to your massive data sets and you should be able to see um, where you uploaded it. And you can search for its name or you can search for its ID. After you're finished uploading, it should give you this um, page. So the workflow was your massive submission and it just showed that it's done. And this is the massive ID and this is the title. So when you go back to your massive data sets, you can search it by either the ID or by the title. So now that you have this ID, you're going to want to make sure that you know it so you can use it now in um, you can use it now in GNPS. So the data is now uploaded onto the massive server so we can go to gnps.ucsd.edu can log in and you should be able to go to the massive data sets and see the different samples that are uploaded for the different data sets and you click on your massive ID now you can go and see the actual data for download if you want to acquire this data set and you can also go to this status menu where there's subscription and comments so you can now subscribe to your data which is um, talked about more in depth in the documentation. So you can get contacted if any hits are made or correlations to your data set that you uploaded or that you subscribe to. There's also a comment box where you can uh, comment on the data set and explain if there's any kind of problems or if it's really great, it's up to you. So this is pretty much a quick summary of how you upload your data to Massive